Hundreds of Denver families now looking for new schools for their children after DPS decided to close three of them at the end of the school year. And one of those closures is Fairview Elementary. It's located in Denver Sun Valley neighborhood. That's right next to Empower Field. Denver 7's Micah Smith taking a deeper look at why these school closures are getting so much backlash. In the shadows of Mile High Stadium sits a literal valley, Sun Valley with vibrant culture and people working hard to preserve it. It's a melting pot of culture. Dominic Diaz was born and raised in Denver and has lived in Sun Valley for two years. Unfortunately, I was priced out uh, and it's only because of the affordable housing that was brought to the neighborhood that I'm able to return to Denver. His new home had everything he needed. The commute is literally across the street, including a school for his daughter Mila. But with DPS's decision to close his neighborhood school, Fairview Elementary. Now uh, we're going to have to find a new school, potentially merging with Sheltonham. Uh, concerns about transportation uh, and getting our kids to school safely. And Diaz says there are a lot of families with the same worry. Let's talk about housing in the Sun Valley neighborhood. I'm standing right out front of Fairview Elementary School right here. We have a DHA development under construction right across the street, a fully constructed housing development. And then if you look right down to Cater in my my line of sight, I can see three more housing developments. With two more Denver Housing Authority developments in the works, DHA predicts about 200 elementary school aged kids will move into the neighborhood, solving the low enrollment issue. In a letter to Denver school board members, Denver City Councilwoman Jamie Torres called the closure, quote, poorly planned and said it perpetuates an unjust history. Sun Valley and House Sun Valley has borne the brunt of inequity in this city. Uh, this is poised to be Denver's next up and coming neighborhood. And Diaz says like any other neighborhood, Sun Valley deserves a strong school. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And Denver Public School Superintendent Alex Marrero says really declining enrollment is the reason these schools are closing. But today he told Denver 7 morning anchor Nicole Brady that Fairview Elementary could reopen once more affordable homes are built in that neighborhood and then more families move into Sun Valley. Not to give parents false hope then, could Fairview Elementary then stay open or reopen then at some point? At some point, absolutely. Uh, it won't be next year. Okay. Uh, I think the earliest uh, could be a year out um, and definitely closer to the 2026, 2027 when uh, that construction is all complete. So very much part of how we plan to um, engage with the community, but also leaving that school ready to receive students. And you can hear Nicole's entire interview with the superintendent right now on Denver7.com.